Hi, I'm Bobo. In this week's recap, although housing prices have fallen for more than two years, high price transactions still occurred in the home ownership scheme market from time to time. For instance, last year in August at Hoylock Court in Changsha Wan, a homeowner sold their so called unmodified subsidized flat for 8.38 million Hong Kong dollars and left the market with a huge profit of nearly 4 million Hong Kong dollars, which sparked speculation concerns over home ownership scheme flats. More recently, the Housing Authority announced that they handled a home ownership scheme flat resale case due to a breach of the live in requirements where the original owner was required to hand over all profits to the authority. Although it's unknown whether this resale case refers to the aforementioned Hoylock court case, the Housing Authority said last year that it had already launched an investigation into the issue. The reported flat is an unmodified 629 square foot, three bedroom unit. The original owner bought the flat in 2019 and listed it for 8.38 million Hong Kong dollars, premium unpaid, making it the highest price transaction of record for the housing estate. However, many suspect that speculation was involved since the flat was sold without modifications, suggesting that the owner may never have moved in and merely purchased the flat for speculative purposes. In other news, a Hong Kong court has ordered the liquidation of China Evergrande. This is the largest liquidation case of a property developer in Hong Kong. Since the group fell into financial difficulties, it has also sold its Hong Kong properties, for instance, by selling its project in Changsha Wan to VMS Group in 2021 before it was renamed The Vertex. Sean Siu, Evergrande's executive director, labeled the appointment of liquidators a regrettable move, but assured Chinese media that the company is committed to completing its residential construction projects. Meanwhile, the Hong Kong property market remained weak. Released by the Rating and Valuation Department, the city's private property price index fell to 312.1 points for December. This indicates a cumulative drop of 6.8% for the year of 2023, down 21% from its 2021 peak. If we break it down by size, flats of all types saw price drops. Among them, small flats measuring 430 square feet or below recorded the biggest drop, with an annual plunge of 8.7%. This was followed by large flats measuring 1,076 to 1,721 square feet, which recorded a 7% drop from the previous year. However, the residential rental market continued to improve, rising for the 11th consecutive month to 187 points in November, with an annual increase of over 6.6%. Amid shifting market trends, the discount rate for the new home ownership scheme flats has increased from 62% to 70%. Despite the raised discount rate, the selling price of these flats remains unchanged. As a result, future buyers will pay a lower premium. The latest release of six new home ownership scheme flats includes 9,154 units spread across Kai Tak, Kuan Tong, and Yun Long, among others. The most affordable unit is located at Long Tin Court in Yun Long, with prices starting at about 1.48 million Hong Kong dollars. On the other end of the spectrum, the most expensive unit, dubbed the King of Flats, is situated in Kai Yu Court in Kai Tak. It's priced at 4.94 million Hong Kong dollars, with a price per square foot exceeding 10,000 Hong Kong dollars. The next phase of homeownership scheme flats is set to open for selection this coming Wednesday. Despite the Housing Authority's adjustment of the discount rate, current market conditions suggest that these new flats may receive a tepid response from buyers. As the Lunar New Year approaches, the market is anticipating stimulus measures in the upcoming budget announcement next month. Meanwhile, both buyers and sellers are adopting a wait-and-see attitude. Over the weekend, Hong Kong's four biggest real estate agencies recorded three to seven deals for the city's top 10 blue chip housing estates, with most agencies recording a drop in transactions. Hong Kong property in particular recorded just three deals, with seven housing estates seeing no transactions. Numerous cases have indicated that unless owners offer a substantial price reduction, it may not be enough to entice buyers to enter the market. Let's check out three cases that demonstrate this. At the Pavilion Hill in Tin Hao, a unit measuring 595 square feet was sold for more than 5 million Hong Kong dollars. The original owner bought the flat in 2015 for 17.97 million Hong Kong dollars. 
Initially priced at $20 million, the asking price was later adjusted in response to declining market conditions. The flat eventually sold for 14.5 million Hong Kong dollars, or about $24,300 per square foot. With a cumulative price reduction of $5.5 million, the original owner lost $3.47 million in the transaction. Next, at the Cairn Hill in Chin Wan, one unit was sold at a price reduction of 2 million Hong Kong dollars. This was a middle floor three bedroom unit in block 12, measuring 948 square feet in size. The original owner bought the flat about two years ago for $10.7 million and put the flat up for sale last year at $12.38 million Hong Kong dollars. The flat was eventually sold for $10 million at about $10,500 per square foot, and the original owner lost 700,000 Hong Kong dollars. Finally, at Grand Horizon in Qingyi, a two-bedroom apartment sold at a price reduction of over 1 million Hong Kong dollars. This was a lower floor unit in Tower 5, measuring 511 square feet. With an initial asking price of $6.5 million, the price was eventually reduced to $5.35 million, marking a price reduction of $1.15 million. Despite this, the original owner bought the flat in as early as 2005, hence booking a huge profit of $3.4 million. Turning to the first-hand market, the main focus was on leftover inventory. Among the projects, prices at Allegro in Kowloon City were reduced by 30%. The project launched a new round of sales this past Saturday, driving first-hand weekend trading volume to 62 deals. This marked a nearly 1.6-fold increase in sales from the previous weekend. Among its 60 available units, Allegro sold about 40 units, comprising more than 60% of the market's trading volume. Other first-hand transactions came from projects including Yoho West in Tinchui Wai and the Vertex in Changsha Wan. To maintain momentum, developer Country Garden will launch a new price list for Allegro on Sunday. The new list offers an average discounted price of 18,067 Hong Kong dollars per square foot, which is about 26% lower than the first price list in 2022. In the meantime, 17 units will go on sale this Wednesday. For more information on the secondhand market, stay till the end of this video for this week's recap of secondhand transactions across each district. That's all for this episode. See you in the next.